And we're here at CES 2017 and uh, there's something big around here. Yes, it is. Uh, Sharbax, as you know, we've talked about electronic paper for many years. Uh, in the past, we would have small electronic displays like this, which was the state of the art in those days. Today, I have something to show you, which is uh, the biggest electronic paper display that was ever built. It's a 42-inch diagonal display-based system that has got some really amazing aspects to it. And I'm going to introduce my colleague, Leslie, who will explain the product to you. Hi, my name's Leslie Jaguer. I'm the Director of Marketing for QuirkLogic. We're based out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And we're hoping to sell our e-writer into all corporate businesses worldwide. I'm going to take you over here to Ken. Ken's going to be able to give you a demonstration of our e-writer that basically can span all of this space. This is a writer. This is a writer, yes. That's exactly what it's designed for, for writing on. So I can take, load in images, I can mark them up and write on them in a bunch of different sizes. But what you're actually seeing here right now is a very advanced concept with these where these different devices, these unique devices, are all individually cloud connected to each other. So they're messaging to each other through a cloud service that we have. Right now what I've done is I've loaded in an image of the world and allowed that image to span over four, actually five of our devices. You can see at the very end there. So each one is 42 inch? Each one's 42 inches diagonal. What's yes. the resolution? The resolution is 2880 by 2160 pixels with 60 grayscales dithered across those. And you can, you can scribble anything you want, anywhere. Anything you want, you can mark it up, you can erase the content. So I can, right now, go and select a nice thin line. I can write on this thing. I can tell you, I know, I'm guessing this is a set of islands. Maybe the Canary Islands? I'm and not then you sure. Say, that is. Basically, you just say, let's, let's go there with the All boat. Right. Yeah, sure. So we can travel there. I can tell somebody in this location what that looks like. And then I can send it over to another device in another location. Yeah. Right now, these devices are connected to each other and actually specified in a configuration that they are next to each other in this specific orientation. I can take these with a simple gesture, take that, that image and the content and shift that across nice. all of the different devices. That's I can, awesome. I can resize that. I can select my content. I can move my content around if I wanted to point to something else in a different location. Cool. So there's already a lot of functionality right here. There's a lot of functionality built into this. This is out of the box. You don't have to set it up with a computer. You don't have to connect it to anything. You literally go in, you log into the device, you tell it you have a cloud service you're connecting to. All of these functionality is built right into that. Right here? Yes. So you can have as many as you want. You can have one. You can have with one. Wait, well, these are actually all connected right now. So with one device, I can do what I'm showing you, which is basically write, erase. I can take my writing, I can select it, I can manipulate my content. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> and then I can also, using interaction between the devices, I can set them up in a number of different modes. So the one I'm just showing you here now was something called span, where you're literally taking the content and spanning it across multiple different devices. But I could take this and say, I want to set it up in a tear-off mode. I tell you what my devices are that I want to connect to. And then not only does my content show up on those different devices, but if I was to turn a page here, let's say I went to a different page in my workbook, and I selected that world image again. Let's select that world image. I load it up. You'll see it's not on the other devices. But let's say I'm sitting here in, in Las Vegas and I wanted to send it to somebody else somewhere else in the world. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. I can simply make a simple gesture on there. Say I want to send this to whatever boardroom three is. That image will go from there with all of its content and show up on boardroom three's board exactly as I have it showing on my device. This is awesome technology, right? It's, It'd it's, be awesome if we can, uh, can, can we interview our C CTO? Absolutely. Here's Mike. Mike Maybe, who's our CTO of, of QuirkLogic. Cool. So, uh, so hi. So, who are you? Uh, my name is Mike Maybe, a CTO for QuirkLogic. So, uh, how do you make this technology? What's going on here? It's e Ink 42 inch. It is the world's largest um, bi-stable e Ink display. So, this is a very low power display technology that only requires um, electricity 
literally um, underneath the ink as you're changing the color and then you don't need it at all. If you so were it doesn't to consume it, a lot of power. It does not. So this device here, it allows us to build a device, an interactive screen that uses so little power that you can run it on battery. A 42 inch device that you can carry away and run on battery. So let's check it over here. Uh, there you can show, it can, it can flip also. Yes, this is, we have it on our, so these things can be easily removed, detached, taken around, moved if you wish. We also on our stand, we have it in such a way that you can move it easily, go to the landscape, to portrait mode. Yeah. And back. Right here, and what are you showing here? Uh, this is uh, a demonstration of the, bit of the uh, one of the uses of this technology. You can bring in imagery, such as you saw with the uh, yep. world imagery and stuff, and it allows you to do some brainstorming. So this one right here, in this case, um, is like website design, and you can say that you want a logo here, and here's where you want a header. Uh, and it allows you to do the brainstorming that you would work together on, on top of some predefined image that you want. So this is a whiteboard. It's not a blackboard, it's a whiteboard, right? That's correct. And, uh, and here you're showing uh, that, that that there's a lot of whiteboards in the world, but they're not connected. They're offline, so now you can connect them. That's correct. And so your content, of course, on an ordinary whiteboard, in order to change it, you have to erase and move and rewrite. And um, you, when you walk away from the whiteboard, the content can be lost. Someone else can draw on it. Not so with us. Whenever you're uh, writing whatever info or design or any information that you want on here, the data travels with you, and you can bring it up on any one of the devices as you go. And so, you uh, so this can be shared to maybe in future to other devices. The key click your button, everybody gets an email. Um, yeah, absolutely. You can you can invite you have people. This functionality already. Yes. What we have right now is you can in here you can share. Um, so you have all these functions right there. Yes, we do. This you one actually. Library. Yeah. So you notice it's sign in. I'm not actually connected yeah. in on this one right now. So this uh, e-writer is writing on it. It's running on. It could be just one individual, but you can connect them. You can sign in under your account, and then you can share whatever workbook that you're and, on. And uh, you, you can uh, you can automatically collaborate with people all over the world. That's correct. And, and it it's just one part of the video conference, maybe. Yes, and it's it's uh, very easy to do so. All you have to do is open the same file that someone else is opening or using, and then whatever you both do inside that um, workbook is seen by both parties. And this is uh, this is much better than the LCD. It's not good for the eyes, right? And it, it, let's go over here. Uh, you have another demo over here. Um, Will you do some collaboration right here? Yes. All right. So unlike an, an emissive technology yeah. like an LCD or uh, yeah. plasma or LED, yeah. um, this one is reflective technology and all of the light um, that you use to see the image is comes externally. So that means it's extremely low power. So there's nothing from behind it. It also means that it's very easy on the eyes. It's why e-readers, e-ink e-readers are um, so, so much have, easier you have to read. Arm, arm, it's ARM part, right? There's ARM processors running this, I guess. That's and, right. Uh, is there's it Linux, multiple or? ARM processors in there. We have an ARM processor that's running the uh, um, uh, the uh, EPD, the 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 display. Uh, so we have a controller for that that's an ARM processor, and then we have another ARM processor that's running our application and doing the networking. Nice. That's awesome. Thanks a lot. So let's, uh, let me interview you right here. So, so hello. So who are you? Oh, I'm Tamara. So what I'm going to show you is how these two boards can interact together. So you can Let have me stand a, over here, sorry. Okay. Yeah, so you have two boards and you're demonstrating So I have two e-writers and what I'm going to do is show you how one can be in LA and one can be in New York and I can interact with both. So what I have is I have a, an image that's on there. We have a person that's over here that can delete something and what you'll notice is that when you look over here that it's going to delete over here. So the person who's collaborating with you in New York now will get all the updates. That person can now interact with the board too as well. So they want to say it's not 22, it's actually 32. And that will now update for the person who's in LA and they can see it in real time. Nice, so there's networking going on? Yes. Uh, and it's just, it's just straight ahead, it just makes sense how it works. Exactly, exactly. So you have a Wi-Fi connection, you have an Ethernet connection, either way, you just load it in, you share a workbook, you can choose how you want to share it, whether or not you give someone permissions to interact with it, or maybe you just want them to see it and you don't want it to interact with it. And but this is easy, you just log in, log in, that's it? That's it, that's, that's as hard as it is. And you say collaborate, you click on someone and you collaborate? That's it, and you share it with the person that you have there and they see it and they can interact with it, then you can both work on it and save it. 
So one, one could be in this office over here, which is uh, Los Angeles, or? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, this is Los Angeles, and this is New York, and what you'll also notice and they can work together. lots of windows, so you're going to have lots of bright light. What's great about these displays is you don't have to worry. There's no glare going to come from these ones. You can see how, how good it looks. It's got that paper look and this, feel to it. This is not good business for the curtain manufacturer. Not at all, not at all. We don't want any curtains. You don't need to have you them anymore. You want sunlight. Exactly. It's better for the work environment. Exactly. It's, it's way better, and you don't have to go over and close blinds any Anytime you're working on a on an interactive whiteboard, you have to close the blinds because the glare is so bad. With these ones, you could even take them outside if you wanted to and work on them. Go work by the window, get more inspiration, look out the window, and then Absolutely. get ideas for the business. Absolutely. Take it by the pool if you want to. Completely portable, 22 pounds. Lift it off and take it and go sit by the pool if you need to. All right. That's cool. Uh, let's check out some more demos around here. Sounds good. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, so I'm going to check over here. Here we have one. Uh, one is just displaying some pictures right here, right? That's right. This is just showcasing the fact that these devices have 6 million pixels, and we've got some really, really nice, crisp, clear images that come yeah. through. Yeah. All right. There are some pictures going on here. And let's check over here. Wow, that's cool. Hello. Hello. So who are you? Me? Yeah. I'm Natalie. And uh, you're doing some... Uh, you, this is this is an, an idea of uh, uh, using it for art also? Yeah, so Natalie is a local artist. It helps us to kind of have people who don't work for the company to try and use the products in different applications. So she basically has come. She's been here for, I don't know, four hours now. And she's using the device and she's kind of just doing little illustrations. It helps to showcase. You can see all of her work here that she's doing. Uh, the different grayscales that can be used for... Uh, doing work, doing annotations, doing highlights. She also plays around with the different pen widths. The other cool thing that she does is she kind of sizes things down and moves images over and writes more images. So it really helps to just give other people a different perspective on what the device can do and the possibilities. So what do you think about this uh, device? Uh, how does it how does it feel to draw on this I love one? It. It's I cool. Love it. Yeah, it's very cool. It does a lot of good different stuff. You get a lot of grayscale. You can shrink. You can erase. So this you can shrink up. Wow. If you want to add more to your picture. That's that's like mind blowing a little bit, it's no? Ama it's amazing. It's pretty awesome. And so th this could be like for um, uh, if you do cartoons. Yes. That would be a pretty nice way to do totally. them, right? Yeah, if you were trying to get some ideas out on some drawings, you could do put them on here and then it saves it. You can come back and look at your ideas and see what you've been doing. There's That's beautiful. One. So uh, having ideas is the is the and, and being able to be uh, uh, creative and productive yes, is exactly. And what's nice is you can jot them down and then you can come back to them later on and see what you do because a lot of times when I'm drawing, I think of something, and I'll come and just put it down, and then you can just scroll through and then figure out which one. They might be, uh, like, uh, enable you to have, uh, to realize the idea differently, to have a big yes. display like this, than exactly. having a small piece exactly. of paper, or, it's totally different, right? Totally different, because then if you want to add to this, if I saw something to add to it, then I would just shrink it back up, and then I could go ahead and add, you know, more of whatever our, my design is. So, I love it. So that, that's really, really cool what we're looking at here. So uh, what's going to happen next? Is this going to go everywhere? We're hoping. <laughs> so this this 42-inch display device, yeah. um, really we're hoping to take to corporate markets. Yeah. Um, and we've been approached by some higher education institutions as well, places um, that we didn't even anticipate might be interested. So we're hoping to start and launch in the corporate market this year. Um, North America is going to be our focus for right now, and then we hope to go internationally. So uh, right here, there's another one. That this is kind of demonstrating it could be for our labs. Yeah, this space here really just gives different people ideas of what it could be used music. for. So this is a music score was the background, and we actually had, had somebody score out a piece of music here. This is actually, I think, the Grinch Stole Christmas. <laughs> and there, is it potential for apps now? Um, yeah, so that's a really good question. Behind what you see on this product here, we have an entire ecosystem that we've worked on. Uh, and in the ecosystem, we're going to be building APIs so that different applications can be written and you can basically launch different applications from the device. Things like, you know, this is a great concept image, but if I was doing architecture, I might actually want Revit files coming up on the device itself. So we've got APIs that different companies will be able to write applications 
plug into those APIs and actually be able to interface with the technology. Is this ready at launch? Are you good? APIs are not ready at launch. We need a little bit of time on that. What's ready at launch is the 42 inch device. The cloud services is in being able to remote collaborate with different countries, different users, different people. So this is so awesome. Uh, so I, I, I guess uh, corporations can easily afford this, right? Like, uh, uh, how uh, this this is going to be tricky. How 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 is? Uh, did you talk about price? Yeah. So we've actually just dropped our press release two days ago. So this is a brand new for us. We're at our first show in Q1. Basically, we're focusing on early adopter programs. So we ran betas Q4 of last year. We've got some really great companies looking at being involved in the early adopter programs. At the beginning of Q2, we're hoping to go general availability, and we'll have pricing for you then. So hopefully uh, there could be volume, because if it's popular, if people are very interested, you can make money and then you can have an affordable price, so schools can have it, right? You know, with anything, the more you produce, the millions you produce, the more economy of the scale you get in your manufacturing, and the more you can kind of bring your price down. So eventually we hope to get there. Initially, this is a really innovative product that I think will be really attractive for early adopters.